pretty far over there, and I'm not going to see that. Oh, wait, question. Uh, hit, uh, hit Instagram, right? Yeah, do it. Before it locks. So we're on Instagram now too? We are on Instagram, we're on YouTube, we are on Facebook. I can't chat here, okay. You guys can chat there. Okay. Uh, I'm logged on Instagram, so I can monitor any comments there. Do we have an audio test? Everything's working on there? Can you do mic check? Testing check, one. Check. check. Yeah, we're good. All right. Testing one, two, three. Oh, we got commenters. <laughs> oh, we're getting people already? We got Corbin, we got Lucas. Oh, that's up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? We'll wait, get Give some more a couple people minutes, on uh, here. Get everybody to join here. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Arizona. Right, good morning. <laughs> Got some exciting things to announce. Some events. New products. Lots of neat stuff. Yep. You know, I still get excited and thrilled whenever I unbox some of these new <laughs> products myself, too. And you <laughs> So he's, oh, I hope oh, so. What can I put these on? Yeah. <laughs> we get some more comments. New Hampshire, top of the morning. Hey. New Hampshire. Who's from New Hampshire? Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. We got highs from Scotland and Oakland. Oakland. Well, hello. Oakland, California. California and Scotland, Scotland. what? Scotland. Oh, I thought <laughs> you meant awesome. like the country Scotland. It's Oakland, California, and Scotland. Uh, I'm assuming the country, and that's where the Scotland is. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> there could be. I was thinking Scotland, Arizona. Our K10 Scotland edition. We got Virginia, we got Indonesia. <laughs> wow, hi everyone. Kilborn. All right. Jeremy Kilborn. Oh, we got a high from Pittsburgh, California. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on! You <laughs> teasing me there. In Las Vegas, from Oakland. Okay. Nova Scotia, Canada. France, Florida. Well, who's from France? We have Nico from France. Okay. Bonjour. Bottom RC Trail Adventure says RC Pro Drive rules. Mm, thank you. Just wait a little bit longer, get some more people on there, and speak up. Kevin from Global Community says hello. Kevin Sims. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kevin Sims. He sends me John Deere uh, interest links. <laughs> that's kind of your thing, too, the John Deere yeah. product. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Do your theme builds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired of using green, though. <laughs> <clears throat> How many we got? 36 persons. I'm not sure how much needs to be. Eight. Okay. We'll wait a little bit longer, then we'll get started. Hey. Hey. Instagram, hey. How's it going, Instagram? All right. You guys want to you want to get started? Ready, ready to get started? Okay. Um, for those who don't know, I'm John. I'm Mike. That's Mike. Um, we're excited to be here. Right? We got a yeah. lot to talk about got, today. Yeah, we got we a lot got to a, talk about. Got a couple of new products, and uh, we're going to give away a truck at the end of all of this. What? Really? That's what I hear. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Where do we want to start off? Uh, if you guys haven't heard, we have our 
1987 Toyota Extra Cab uh, that's in stock now. It's a ready to run, long wheelbase chassis, uh, fully equipped. You can see in the picture oh, there. Oh, look at that. We can really see it. Really nice uh, glossy white paint Here, job. It's floating. And uh, the SR5 graphics. Uh, it's got the nice painted grill, bumper, SR5 chrome wheels, uh, 1.7 VF Goodrich tires. Uh, detailed interior. This truck comes with uh, XVD axles, inner fenders, uh, LED lights. Uh, what else is there? Uh, factory tuned suspension. Really nice suspension. Yeah, on that's this is the team what rate. a difference. Yeah. Yeah. The the springs uh, the spring rates have been adjusted, and uh, what else? We have X ring technology shocks. Really nice uh, ultimate scale shocks on this truck. Uh, a really, really great package. So this is a ready-to-run truck that comes with everything included. You get a battery, battery charger, AA batteries for the transmitter, uh, the, the battery straps, and, and all the extra parts that go with it. So really nice truck. And these are available right now, ready to run, plug them in, and hit the trails. Yeah. And that tuned suspension thing, that's feedback from you guys, you know, um, saying out of the box, the other one was a little stiff. Yeah, this so we've we've taken the time and we're continually taking the time to make sure that you know when it comes to you it is truly ready to run with with a you know tune suspension um, but what's great about it if you want that stiffer ride or if you you know you want to do something different the, the yeah. items are still in there right um, in the bag so you can add those we and gave you the uh, tuning leaf springs and then some small inner springs that go in the shocks that if you've had more accessories or you want to tune your ride, we've yep. given you all those uh, uh, options available. Yep, yep. So, all Okay, right. secondly is the new K10. Here, look, I'm going to do it like it's floating like the other, <laughs> one, the other one was. Here. Um, for those that aren't familiar with this, this is our new release. It comes in red or black. Um, detailed um, engine bay with the, I don't know if we can see that. Yeah. All dressed up. All dressed up there. Um, BFG mud terrains, the deep dish rally wheels, uh, LED lights, detailed interior. Um, it has the factory tuned suspension also. Yeah, I mean, it's just a nice, nice ride. And this is metal flaked also, and yeah. the black is also metal flaked too. It really stands out in the sunlight. Oh yeah, you really amazing. see it in the sunlight. I don't it's know got if some blue, a little bit of blue and gray yeah, metal I don't flake know if in you there. You can see it if we tilt it like that. But um, opening tailgate, um, just a nice out of the box, ready to go scale truck. Everything you can hit the trails. With this also too. Yeah, yeah. Everything that he said on the other one is included. Battery, uh, battery charger, um, the double A batteries, um, all that ready to go. It comes in red and black. Um, also, we are selling just the engine bay by itself. Okay, so you can buy an engine bay and put it into like an existing K10 that you have. Or a blazer. Or, or, yeah. or a blazer, yep. Really cool. So you can do that up yourself. And we also have the dress up kit. And the um, and the accessories, um, the dress-up kit is the ZS0205, and the accessory is ZS2221. That accessory uh, kit is selling like crazy. As soon as we get it in, it's going back out. So um, I'm glad you guys are really enjoying that. Uh, we also came out with aluminum bumpers um, and for those that are familiar with these uh, this is the new design bumper so I don't know if we can zoom in a little bit on this one but it has the recessed area here where the other ones had the part that stuck out for like a, a rubber bumper this is the recessed uh, look on it um, so we've got the front and the rears available for that and um, nice aluminum so you can bump into things those are nice nice yeah these are really, really nice, nice bumpers yep um, and then we also have the tailgate net um, which is a ZS 0282 do you have a picture of that one or no, no, no. okay the tailgate net that goes in the um, in replacement of the tailgate 
uh, for anybody that um, you know had a uh, square body back in the day. You always had that that uh, net whenever your tailgate rotted out. That's good for your fuel economy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Um, I want to point out too, the tailgate net has a really nice frame that frame sits in inside the bed that it mounts to. So it makes it yeah. really flush and, and, uh, and sturdy. So yep. Really good design. Good. Uh, all right. So a couple uh, new things coming up on my end. Uh, we have some maintenance parts for the Miller uh, Motorsports Pro Rock Racer. Uh, we've got the, if you guys can see, we've got the shifter cables, the shifter fork, and the diff locks are now available, so you can do your routine maintenance to your Miller car. Uh, good item here, the part number is ZSO237. So these are available in stock now. Also, we have some more Miller Motorsports um, parts coming up. I actually kind of went out of order here. There's a couple things we don't have uh, to show you. I wanted to mention too, we have the, the fuel cell is available for the Miller Motorsports car. We also have the bucket seats. Uh, I wish I could show you the bucket seats are, are really nice in scale. Um, that's for the Miller car. Also the uh, brushless motor um, is available uh, for the Miller car. And then I showed you the shifting parts and then we also have the trailing arms. These are the rear links for the Miller Rock Racer. So um, nice pivots on them. Uh, looks like they're uh, adjustable on the ball ends here and then a couple uh, locations for the shocks. So these are for the Miller car if you need to replace them or, I don't know, maybe a custom build or something. Yeah. So these are pretty neat. There's available now. Well, that's what I was going to say, even like the fuel cell. And I know people are buying the V8 motor. The V8 motor, You yeah, know, and they're putting them in other ones. I had a guy, I think maybe I mentioned it the last one, he was uh, putting it in a boat. Oh, he was gonna yeah, put the, uh, that would be really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. And, and just to mention, too, John mentioned that yeah, the scale V8 engine housing, the brushless motor that is available for the Miller car fits inside that real nicely. So it's a 540 size brushless motor. So really compact. That uh, gives you any other ideas. Um, so that's all I have for the Miller car right now. The next one I have is really exciting. This is the um, Moto Metal Change Up Deep Dish Beadlock Wheels. And I was going to show them to you in the box, but I, I got it. I had to pull one out and show you the, yeah. the detail on this thing. Uh, hopefully, we can get this zoomed in. Um, that's all you're going to do. And that's a 1.7. Uh, yeah. yeah, this 1. is 1.7. Um, just a really nice uh, wheel. It's a little over an inch wide, so um, you get a you get a nice here. Let yeah, go ahead. Vanna's bringing it in. <laughs> Tilt it down a little bit. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that was well worth Alec doing that. And you can show the back too. It's got a really nice uh, access point to to install the wheel too. The whole back plate comes off of those Allen screws. It's a three piece. Yeah. Uh, so it will beat up with just about any 1.7 tire. And the neg the negative offset on this. Show the IG if you need to look at too, please. Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah that's from Bob too. <laughs> there you go. Maybe show the back too. People are interested on an offset in the hub. Yeah, the off the negative offset on here makes it work great with TRX4. Um, you know the portals. Um, it's it's a oh good point. It'll, yeah, it'll work real well because it's at it's got a deep or a, a, got a deep real... negative uh, offset. So really nice uh, um, new license partner that we have. So. Um, look forward to even more stuff coming out with um, with this partner, um, but this was a great first first wheel for a yeah, licensed yeah, partner. Yeah, really it's nice just, wheel. Yeah, I'll I mean, uh, I'll be mounting some tires up on those and show them for you guys. To yeah, see, uh, what's great about this too is it'll fit any truck any look. Truck, yeah. You know, I mean, it just yeah. has that it has that good look. So um, definitely check that out. Um, I'll just give you the number here. It's a Z W. 0354 if you want to go on the website and look it up but really nice uh nice details on that oh we've got some other wheels out too uh, i wanted to talk about the the center line 1.9 combo pro deep dish wheel so we've got a lot of deep dish wheels coming yep. your way um, i don't know if we have a graphic for that i don't have one to show you but it's a really nice deep deep, deep dish wheel so um, another really, really cool wheel I'm excited about is the, the fuel off-road. These are the 2.2 zillion wheels. So this is a 2.2. Uh, this, again, will fit on a lot of different applications. 
Um, is that like more than a million? It's a zillion? zillion yeah, that's a lot. Nice. <laughs> uh, really nice uh, details on this. A, a removable scale hub with hardware, um, a machined, uh, what is that, kind of like a star pattern or a blade pattern inside. And then just like the, the Moto Metals, these have the back end removable for easy mounting. And these are chrome, they're not polished. So that's like a really nice chrome. We'll have Alex show them off to you up close. Really beautiful finish. You can see the forge uh, and the fuel logos etched in there. And then a really nice, uh, kind of like a gel center cap in the middle with the fuel logo on there. And again, we've, uh, these wheels, they're three piece with a center ring inside. Uh, really easy to mount with uh, multiple um, types of tires. Even the inner ring is chrome on this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see the, the details. So really exciting. Um, and fuel has a really, uh, we have other fuel wheels available as well. So um, let's see. Here's some, actually we have some other fuel wheels to show off. These are really neat uh, in my opinion. This is another, one, this is a 1.9 wheel. And these come in a uh, inset and an offset wheel for a dually purpose like your TRX-6 Six, or hauler, yep. your, the your hauler. TRX-6s. And so this is really, really sweet. So you have the front wheels, which are... Um, Almost like a semi. Yeah, these are offset. Positive. Yeah, offset. offset wheels here. And then the rears are uh, inset. And they have a really nice, uh, big, you know, heavy-duty cap in the center and scale hardware as well. So really excited about these wheels. And for your Traxxas guys or any of your hauler guys, or these would actually look kind of cool on a... On a, just a regular K10, even. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know? could do that. You could do the, um, what is it, the Sen 450? Yeah, would on be the Sen another one. Be, would look yeah, really cool on there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and uh, I want to point out, you can't see through the wrapper. I'd like to keep these in wrapper. These are chrome as well. Nice chrome plated wheels. Crazy. You get out your bright boy polish and polish those babies. Yeah, up. any any like heavy duty truck would it, that'd look cool. Right? Yeah, I. I because more and more of those real builds are doing that. You could do a dually, yeah. dually K10 even. So thank you, Alec. Really, really beautiful wheels uh, with, the, with the fuel brand on them. So we're excited about these. What else we got? I have some, uh, oh, actually I have some other wheels to show off too. Um, you Alec, Alex earning his, uh, <laughs> his keep here today. So these are a 1.7 KMC. Uh, these are called, I guess they're called the Hex. Yeah, hex beadlock wheels, really, really nice wheel. These are 1.7 size. Uh, and they have really, uh, I'll have Alex shows, but these say off-road use only, so these are not DOT, TO, DOT rims? Is it yeah, DOT? Yeah. And they have the so, KMC logo on them, so these are, are built like, I guess they're real racing wheels. Yeah, they're yeah. off-road wheels. But real off-road Yeah, you're wheels. just going to have to watch if you're running those on the street, on the street that if someone pulls you over. <laughs> So it says off-road use only. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I, the, de the details. The details. Yeah. I mean, those little things like that yeah, just yeah. really make a difference. I like KMC wheels. I think they have a lot of neat wheels, and I'm really happy that we're uh, able to offer them to you in a scale size. Pretty cool. Yep. They look like they're, uh, they're a little more uh, nice <laughs> offset as well. <laughs> so... Really exciting. Uh, if you guys want the part number for these, these are a ZW0011. Easy number to remember. Really cool. That's really nice. Yeah. I, I'm, I really like the 1.7. I do too. I'm it a 1.7. Yeah, it, it, looks... just, it just looks the part. Yeah, you know, the 1.9s yeah. are obviously a bigger wheel, but if you're trying to look for something that is... Uh, real close to scale, you're looking at, you know, the 1.7s would yeah, be that, like, 18-inch wheel. In real life, this would be a 17-inch 17 wheel. 17 or 18, That's usually, yeah. like, if you start doing a stage one lift or any type of yep. suspension on your truck, you go That's to a 17-inch wheel. So, yep. very really, cool. really cool. All right. Okay. Uh, the next one I have, uh, these are small, but I just wanted to go over. We came out with five new hubs um, to get rid of those wheel nuts. So a bunch of options that, um, that you can do based on either the look or um, the style of the, tire, the wheel. Um, so we've got two eighth scale uh, hubs, which are the rear hubs. Um, 
So these are the ones that don't have the lockers on them. So these, these ones here are the examples of the rears. Um, and one is chrome and one is uh, black. We also have the locking hubs uh, for 10th scale and for 8th scale. And those are for the rally. I don't, yeah, you might be able to see them here. I just wanted to clarify too, these aren't the actual like locking style hubs for your front. These actually have a lock nut inside of them. Lock so nut, there's a right. Teflon insert inside the hub so that uh, just kind of like your wheel nut. Like your wheel nut, yeah, right, so or they replace they the wheel nut. Uh, spin off on you when you're driving, so. Yep. So those are the eighth scale ones. We also have the 10th scale rear hubs um, in chrome. So um, great, you know, simple scale option yeah, to, really to nice add. Detail it just, to yeah, it just really takes it over. Makes the difference. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it. the rallies, you know, you have the rallies that um, it fits perfect. They look great on there, you know. But any other wheel that you just want to get rid of that wheel nut because when you're doing your videos and you see a wheel nut, that kind of just ruins it. So now you have a lot of options for, uh, for hubs. Right okay. on. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. We got some other stuff here I want to show you. We have, oh, this is really cool. I'm excited about this one. If you guys have seen, we have the rear shock mounts for the Trail Finder 2. They're adjustable. They have a couple different positions you can mount your shocks on. If you get creative, you may even be able to do dual shock mount with it too or something like that. Um, but these bolt on the side rails of the frame uh, so that you don't have your inboard. rear shocks going inboard. So these yep. are more of an out, like, yeah, John, outboard, an outboard mount for your shock. So this is more like the front shock towers or a little hoop. Uh, maybe if, this is kind of in there. But uh, really, really, really neat. Uh, accessory for your trail finder too and this works on all our trail finder two chassis yep, yep. the long wheelbase the, the shorty and the standard wheelbase and we've got a lot of people asking about those the picture really doesn't do you know it's kind of hard uh, with the to me they look a lot like our uh, dual shock hoops for the front so, yeah yeah um, but again uh, more adjusting points and if you get creative you might even be able to make dual shock out. yeah it, it, kind of yeah fun. it might be tight but i mean you might yeah. be able to get creative the people are creative they yeah. can do that um let's see another item we have here oh this is really neat um this is a fair lead the haas fair lead uh, by warren industries has the warren label on it and this goes on our big boy winch the 8274 so this takes off the roller one and replace it with this, right? Yep, yep. that's the uh, E75. Right. W, w, or Z dash E0. And that actually looks like one of the ones on our build off trophies. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> so, uh, really neat, a nice little billet part to add more detail to your scale rig. And of course, we're always proud to have that worn name, worn with name yep. on it. Yep. Yeah. So, really neat products. And this is a, you know exact replica. So, Pretty neat, little uh, little little details. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this is really a fun item. Here we have the Edelbrock. Uh, this would be like the manifold. I don't know if you call the performer manifold. Yeah. Edelbrock has a lots of cool stuff. But this is an aluminum manifold by Edelbrock that goes on your scale, 110 scale V8 engine, or it'll go on it'll the go on the plastic. engine bay. Yeah. Yep. So if you, you want to dress up your K10, this will this is a really nice little detail too. So. Um, looks real. Yeah, yeah, that's that's <laughs> looks really really realistic. So that would just be like your V8 intake manifold, um, and it has kind of like a little carburetor in the stack for your put your air cleaner on top. Yep. Of. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's really neat, and yeah. I, I love the idea that this stuff bolts up to the engine bay because yeah, now you can right. have you don't have to have the full motor, but you can dress it up with all the chrome and. Um, and all the details. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Definitely really looks cool. good. So it looks yeah. like you can put the uh, distributor. The distributor on there. The uh, what is that? The thermostat, thermostat housing yeah. on there and top hose. Yeah. Uh, really neat. It's got a lot of couple spots. Maybe you can add some sensors, a vacuum hose, and some yep. other stuff to it. So Very with the cool. dress up kit. So really neat. Really cool stuff. Um, another one we had here. Uh, let's see. These. Oh, really cool. Uh, we have a rear shock tower that's for the trail finder 2 blazer they're saying here on the, the description this is for the trail finder 2 and then also we have the square 
body mounts for your K10 and your Blazer. So these, yep. uh, instead of the round ones, these actually have a little lip on them that go on the frame that kind of rest on a little perch and keep them from spinning around. And they're really thick and solid. So check those out real close. And, th and then the rear shock hoops too, really neat. Yeah, the rear uh, shock, many shock adjustable, hoops. Uh, Again, that's, that's to give that um, outboard, outboard shock vertical yeah. shock. Yeah. Like the, the K10 Like the K K10 has, yeah. Has, yeah. Those really heavy duty plastic. And those those are available. The part number on that is ZS0199. So this would be your K10 guys or your K5 guys out there. Some pretty cool mounts. A couple of things I don't have here to uh, show off in front of you, but we have the internal sprot uh, the internal spring spring kit. small shock rebuild kit. So I guess that's a, a rebuild kit for the for the new ultra for the new ultimate ultimate shock. So yep. they're rebuildable, really cool. So uh, uh, our ultimate scale shocks you now see, like on the extra cab I just pointed out, they're rebuildable. We have uh, probably O rings or X rings with them, maybe yep. some seals. The 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 piston in the it's center. It's piston in the center, O rings. The yeah, it's all the parts. Top seals. <laughs> rebuild and, and, the whole uh, thing. Yep. Sliders. So really yep. cool. That's available now for you guys. Um, and then also we have a, oh, the really neat, I uh, hope we have a graphic, the aluminum diff cover for the K44 axis. Yeah. You, so, can't, you can't get any better than that. I mean, that's exactly. That's just that's, really That's scale. them. That's yeah. all you had. So uh, basically you take off the black diff cover on your K44 axle and there's an aluminum one that goes on there. So it's yep. all polished out aluminum. Yep. Really, really cool item. Um, you can see that on our on our website, and that part number is the ZSO212. So I'll get get some of those and show them off to you guys here. And then another really fun one is the uh, if you guys have a C2X, we have a new heavy duty steel front bumper um, for Class Two. It's a competition um, bumper. It meets all the requirements for Class Two competition. It tucks in there real nice, uh, steel hoop on it, and that's for the C2X. Talk about just like segueing into you say comp competition truck, and now we're going to talk about events. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. any comments or anything uh, before we go any further? I got a Crawlers and Coffee. Yeah. Hey, Crawlers yeah, and I, Coffee guys. We're saying thank you, John, for sponsoring the next event in April. Yeah, that's uh, that's the whole company. That, but I I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, we uh, we enjoy supporting that and um, I know that uh, Ca um, Crawler and Coffee has a lot of events and we're honored to be part of that. So Absolutely, definitely, yeah. yeah. Great group of, great group of how, people. How can you there. not? <laughs> crawling and coffee. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I think they just, didn't they just have a big event out in the desert too? Yep, and they have another one coming up in May. All right. Yep. Um, it was John and team. So. There we go, John and team. <laughs> still the same process we we have a giveaway every quarter and whoever places an order within that quarter gets entered to win for that giveaway do you guys hear abel over there talking he's telling us about a giveaway it's uh or just any, any, uh, any of the giveaways yeah the so giveaways. any of the giveaways yeah yeah so it's real easy all you got to do is buy something buy something or <laughs> or there's or, an yeah. way. a non-purchase option where you draw whatever we ask you to draw it's in the blog Correct. Go to our blog. What is the what is the latest <coughs> drawing? This last one was a narwhal. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Narwhal. <laughs> Mr. Narwhal. <laughs> you guys are a narwhal. It's a whale with a the, the yeah. horn. Yeah. I'd like I'd like to see the drawings of the narwhals. That'd be <laughs> That's funny. That's great. Yeah. We love it when people send them in. So please. please yeah. Please. yeah. Yeah. Be creative. <laughs> yeah. So you can <laughs> definitely you can definitely. Uh, oh look at that. All right. That's cool. So there are a lot of uh, events coming up, and um, I always, uh, if you haven't seen, I've been posting the events on Facebook as many as I can, and also a link on how to be an RC four-wheel drive title event, how 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 to get us involved. So there's a uh, application and and at the uh, bottom on our of blog. the website, yeah, or yeah, in the blog. So if you want to have an RC four-wheel drive title event, uh, it's really easy. Yeah, so. just make sure you give us enough time. Yeah, you know, we want like two two months. 
at minimum so that we can make sure that we uh, were able to communicate back and forth yeah. you, with you and make sure that we get you the right stuff. Okay, so um, we're gonna just go over, obviously this is that time of the year that events are, are big. So we're gonna go through, there's a lot of them here, but we wanna make sure that we're calling them out to you guys, especially the one, these are the ones that have uh, partnered with us um, with title sponsorship and um, that we can, you know, that you guys are aware of the event so that you can, you might not know that there's one going on in, within your drive distance. So. You wanna go over a couple of them? Yeah, let's go over a couple. Um, the first one that's coming up is, well, we had what, the trail for, trail the tread? Tread the trail. Tread, tread the trail. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, that, that was there uh, last, last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. And yep. also there was a Four Corners Championship. They were the micro championship. Um, you can go to their event. It looked like they had some chilly weather out there. They posted some picture with ice on their trucks. So uh, that was in this past weekend. Yep. Um, um, coming up. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, this week. Yeah, this weekend. There's the uh, RC4 Wheel Drive Scale Trail Championship in Hungary. Um, so, um, you know, that east, that, um, eastern part of Europe, um, we have got some great people there, um, and team drivers and everything that, that really support that. So, Amazing scene. Uh, yeah. Some of the oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a great one. Um, coming up on the 19th, April 19th, they're, they're gonna, we're going to have the uh, Freestyle RC Nationals. That's in uh, Marshfield, Wisconsin. Uh, Maybe I'll get to, I'll try to get some more information for you guys out on Facebook on that. Um, another big one coming up on the 20th. Uh, that'll be the following, not this weekend, but the, or is it this weekend? No, the following weekend, the Cobra, Cobra Scale RC. Um, and then it says the Pit Crawl Zone Show and Shine. So that sounds like there a lot go. of fun. That's in, in Nitro. What's? Nitro, West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. So right on. Uh, another cool one coming up on 420 is the Expedition Series. That's in Fitchburg, um, Maryland? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I gotta get with these names here. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't know the Eastern. Know. The eastern. <laughs> so, that, so that sounds pretty exciting. Uh, yep. I think we're gonna be heading that way soon. We'll get more information yeah, on yeah. that. Uh, Break Heart Quarry Crawl. <laughs> um, that one um, is in the UK. Um, been talking back and forth with them definitely you know sending out a support uh package for them um and we appreciate everything they do in that area um, another one is the east coast crawl fest, uh, fest which is in murphy's creek um, that's on the 26th of this month um, another one uh, that ryan i keep saying i'm going to get there and i will get there but um on uh, May 4th in Delta, Ohio, there's the King of Spring. Um, it's a crawling event. Um, great group of guys. Um, I keep promising them that I'm going to come out and I just, something's always coming up, so I'm not able to make it. But um, if you guys are either want to see what pulling is about or go uh, to a pulling event, that's a great one to go check out. They, they have a great following. They get a great turnout. Now, are these like the, the gas pullers on the tables too, or on the actually, tables? Have you seen the gas pullers on the tables too? They run them on the table. No, like, these are in dirt, on like the dirt. a dirt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they do electric. They do. They'll do nitro. Nitro. Yeah, um, but just a great group of uh, people there. So if you're in that area and you want to check that out, even if you just want to go look at it, watch them. Um, they're very welcoming and it's a great, it's a great time. And the pulling's really exciting to yeah. watch if you guys yeah. haven't seen it. It's amazing. It's <laughs> yeah. So they actually pull the sled that the weight goes up on yeah. and everything. Yeah, really cool. Um, New Jersey Scale Off-Road King of the Castle, another one that we've sponsored every year. Again, they're uh, May 4th um, in Woodland Park, New Jersey. Great group of guys. I know several of the guys that are there. And uh, if you want to go have a good time just scale crawling, that's definitely one that you want to check out. Um, the cabin crawl, um, that is Travis. He's, um, one of, he was one of our team uh, drivers. 
He's continually doing that one, and that's one that we've um, sponsored every year. Uh, he just does a great job of that with his team, and um, it's a lot of fun. Where's that so, one at? Then Montana. Oh, Montana, Pulse yep. Montana. Yep. Uh, okay. A couple more events coming. Boy, a lot of great events coming up mm -hmm. here. Um, coming up on the um, five on five eighteenth. So that would be in May eighteenth. We have the M one five inner city crawler meeting. That's in Istanbul. Uh, uh, Turkey. Get, get some information on Facebook about that for you guys, so you can. Uh, that's Tala. That's Tala. That's okay, our that's team. That's one of our that's team drivers. Team driver. Uh, he does that. Oh, that's right. And if you uh, go on our Facebook, an outstanding event they did last year. I yeah. think there was 160 attendees or more. It was huge, yep. really great. So yep. always great to see those big events going on. A lot of RC four-wheel drive trucks too. Um, RC Zorn Adventure is coming up. That's in uh, Steinberg, France. That's on uh, May 19th. We'll get some information on that out there for you guys on Facebook. Uh, another one coming up. This is now we're moving into June. June 1st, we have the first annual Southeast Nationals RC Truck and Tractor Pull. So this is going to be in North Carolina. I have to say I love seeing pulling events yeah. expanding. Um, it's always been something that I've enjoyed, and it's just neat to see that we've got more and more of that happening because it, it's, a, it's a really cool segment of our uh, hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really neat. Uh, and like I said, the sled actually works like the real... They have the weight pulling up and everything, yep. so it's really yep. neat to see. The nitro's exciting, too. Yeah. i got to yeah. say, crazy. Um, on uh, May 6th, or no, June 6th, June I'm 6th. sorry, we have the Iowa RC Outlaws Crawl and Camp, or Camp and Crawl. Um, that's in West Oatley, Iowa. Uh, another one that we've continued to support, uh, that group um, is just um, really supportive of us and does a great event so that's really cool and then on um, june 22nd farm fest uh this is one that started i believe last, last year yeah, yeah last yeah. year and it turned out to be i, I think it rained but yeah they had the cars out in the rain <coughs> and the miller car and everything yeah yeah, and, yeah and but our, uh, team, captain team, team drivers we have a couple team drivers that go to that kevin yeah. kevin and uh trevor and um kyle go to that and i know um i was talking to kyle and he's already got that planned to go again so uh, that's a really good one and then we've got the uh texas rc mini truckers that um put on a little show at the texas trucking show so it's the full-size trucks and they um they have a booth where they show the rc stuff which is so kind of neat to cross yeah to kind of cross that over so They'll do a lot of the semi trucks, the heavy equipment, that kind of stuff. Um, and again, we've we've supported them for years. Every year, we we do. They just do a great job of um, exposing our hobby to the truckers, people. Yeah, yeah, the people that don't other, know about it. People, so that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yep. it's always exciting too. Like when we take out the trucks too, people are really fascinated with the K10 and everything too. Yep. It's like yep. amazing to see how realistic they are, and the semi trucks are even just as impressive. Um, so yeah, great lineup coming yep. up. Uh, and again, if you wanted to do an RC four wheel drive title event, we have an application, an events application on our blog. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll make sure I'll continue to watch our stories uh, for that and I'll have the links out there and also our Facebook posts. So the next neat thing, is there any comments or anything? Because I see a lot of words. <laughs> is there anything that we want to address just to, to kind of... Mostly just what I was looking for. But yeah, there was, there was a question about the white edge cab just when is that looking to get restocked if there is a date i believe uh you'll probably see that towards uh the end of this month will be will be the next time of that if somebody asked about that um they've just been selling so great i mean it, we appreciate everybody supporting it and obviously we want to try and keep getting those to you but um it's the good and bad you know you guys are very welcoming on it and we just we just gotta get more in so um, just keep an eye, make sure that you sign up for the wait list on the product page and you'll get notified when they come in. Um, one of the really cool things that we're going to talk about now is uh, May 4th. May 4th is a... Is a um, a lot going not, on on May 4th. Yeah, it's May, <laughs> May the 4th be with you for those that are uh, geeks that way. But on the other side of it, it is our Go Scale Day. Go Scale Day for us uh, is something that we created to celebrate the hobby 
It's not necessarily just an RC four wheel drive thing. It's to get get out and um, enjoy the hobby. All so trucks. friends, All trucks. get your friends, get your family, whoever, and it's just one day to to do that. And you know what we love to see is um, you know pictures and stories of the experience that you guys had. But on top of that, um, we're lucky enough to actually piggyback this onto two events. So I will be, myself and Alec are gonna be at Beat the Creek um, for that event. Um, so- that's a few days long, right? Yep, that starts on Friday the uh, 3rd. It's third, uh, May 3rd, May 4th, and May 5th, uh, which is then Cinco de Mayo, right? <laughs> so we're even putting more stuff into this. Um, but huge event. 2,000 plus thousand people. people yeah. um, the Chris and Joe that kind of run the thing, great people, really are about the hobby. Um, and we're just honored to be able to be sponsors with them and also have a vendor booth there. So we're going to be there um, all, f all three days. Uh, please come and see us. Talk to us. Um, we're going to have some exciting stuff. We're going to have some ex uh, giveaways. Um, and this is all at the RC four wheel drive booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And or, hey, on the trail. We, yeah, we all might. Right. Someone might just see come up to you trail? and talk to you. So if you guys see myself or Alec, um, don't be afraid to come up to us and talk to us. Um, ask Alec a lot of RC specific things. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, and challenge them. Um, but we're going to have a lot of exciting stuff um, for that event. Um, and we're going to have uh, Go Scale Day paraphernalia that, um, that you'll be able to um, get from us also. So please make sure that you um, come to the vendor row and, and say hi. Um, we're going to be looking for people doing some fun things with the um, RC Pool Drive trucks. So. If you have something interesting, let's get it videotaped, and there might be something um, that we can trade for the for the content. All right. Okay. Well, now that you mentioned the Go Scale Day and that weekend, uh, uh, Luke and I will be going out to the uh, RC Excitement event that's going to be in Pittsburgh, Massachusetts. And we'll be there on May 4th. It's a huge event. And our team driver, Trevor Ruffert, Re I'm sorry, Trevor Rushford. Rushford, will be putting on an event. It uh, looks like we're going to go for the Guinness record on having the most RC four-wheel drive uh, vehicles in one spot. So how many that is, I don't know. So well, it's, it's going to be a world record. Um, we haven't gotten Guinness to, um, to approve it yet to accept it yet, but we're going to go for the most uh, RC four wheel drive vehicles in one area um, and and then try and push it, push it to them. But um, it, the whole idea is to get your RC four wheel drive vehicles out and come to that event. There's um, the RC, ex, RC excitement. Todd and Toddy have done a, um, an amazing um, thing with their, with their area. They have a big trail area. And um, it's going to be exciting. I'm, I'm kind of not jealous, but I'm, I'm glad that you guys are able to go to this because it's going to be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. So if you guys, uh, RC Excitement is actually a, a hobby store a hobby shop, yep. in Fitchburg, and they have a, a scale course, I believe, indoor, outdoor. And again, we'll be, we're going to be doing live uh, broadcasts, live streams from both events um, throughout the whole thing. So we'll be there showing off as much as we can. Um, on live between uh, the Beat the Creek and the world record attempt. So and again, really if you see Luke, ask him a lot of tech <laughs> questions. So we might even be doing some giveaways, uh, giveaway out there too. So yep, yep. It should be pretty exciting. Uh, I'm really excited to go there and meet all the people and uh, see all the, the uh, scale guys out there. So I know a lot of you guys from Instagram and social media, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody out there. So... And uh, stop in and say hi to, to, to John and Alec and Luke and I. So, Yep. The, um, and then just on the Go Scale Day, if you're not going to be at those events, um, we're still going to have the, you to have the ability to fill out the form and get the, 
get the goodies get that um, the stickers. Yeah, the sticker, the, the, the uh, annual pin, and that's going to be activated tomorrow. So as um, soon as <clears throat> there's a limited supply, so make sure that if you're going to do it, you sign up right away. We would love to see the stickers, the pin, anything like that on some content. And then you can tag us. I believe it is Go Scale Day 2024 is going to be the hashtag. So if you guys could do that, um, we oh. would love to see that that part of it and yeah, see what yeah, you guys yeah. are doing during uh i'll get a link that to that uh on the from the website i'll put it on the stories from social media so it'll be real easy for you guys to get to start that tomorrow a lot of fun all you got to do is fill out the form and get some rc4 wheel drive goodies uh what else is going on battle. um battle. battle of the builds is coming up that is going to be our live competition is april 26th through may 3rd if you guys are familiar with battle of the builds we're taking entries the top 32 contestants will be competing for our, our top prizes. Uh, it's basically online voting where you go, we post them on the stories, I believe, and you, you guys vote, and the winner, uh, we go through, a, I guess, a couple days competition. Uh, a it's a week long, and we pick a winner at the Friday end. Okay, cool. so that's a lot of fun. I'll get more information out for that and links on the stories as well. So really exciting. You get uh, some three prizes, are, and you'll be featured on next year's Go Scale Day logo. First place. First place gets First that. place does. Okay. Uh, the next thing is the K-10 build-off uh, competition. We've got um, two. That's going on right now. Yeah, that's going on right now, and there were, there's two of them. There's one for the customers. And then there's one for influencers and the team drivers. Um, that is running from April 15th to the 19th. And then we'll announce the winner on the 22nd. So make sure you get your entries in. And then, um, Sunday, you know, This Sunday is the cut. <coughs> excuse me. Yep. On that. So uh, you can enter today. Even if your truck's not done and you don't have the pictures ready, go ahead and get your information in on the form today. And get entered, and you can uh, add the photos and videos as you go along. Yeah, it's, definitely, definitely get it in so that you got your name in, get the your name in the competition. And that looks like that's the um, the trophies, right? Yes, there are three custom trophies uh, presented by RC Four Wheel Drive, Warren Industries, and Woodworks by JA. So these are really, really, really nice trophies. They're projection, kind of like hologram. It has an LED that's remote control, where you can change the colors. Um, and then they have some one-to-one -one worn, um, a fair lead, a hook. Okay. Oh, the guys are going to bring one in. They're going to bring one in. Show one in you. To show so, yeah, really you. neat. The, the the team really did a great job on these trophies, and be, my opinion, really something neat to show off with your yeah, truck. Yeah. 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 So Luke's got one here you to put show it, off. Put it right here. And uh, Warren, Warren kicked in some really nice goodies. And if you see, I was showing off the Haas Fairlead. This is this is kind of what I was talking about here. So, and these these have been powder coated. Is it lit like up? Chrome. Oh, there you there go. There you go. Oh, uh, can you see? Oh, the graphics in the way. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. There you go. Yeah, I'll just do that. Oh, that's cool. And so these are really neat. They're LED. Really they neat. change colors. They rotate through colors. You can pick a color with your mood, I guess. <laughs> yep. Uh, and they're on a really nice platform. So uh, it's Woodworks by JA. Uh, if you've seen the post, tag them in our, on our Instagram post and Warren Industries. Oh, there There's you some go. really nice stuff there. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, those are CNC routered or something? Yep. On Plexiglass? Ooh, I'm yeah. in Instagram. I want one. Yeah. So it's got a nice uh, etched logo of the K10 in there and the date and the place and the RC nice. Wheel Drive nice logo. Product. So really, really sweet. Thank you. And our, our graphics designer put those together with Warren and <laughs> <laughs> Woodworks by JA. Good job. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. So it's time for giveaway. Time. Yeah, is there any is. is there any comments or questions or anything like that that we can? Excuse me, I'm looking up I at the questions here. I can see some of them. I can't see them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just a bunch of love. Uh, it was a lot of info. Again, all that stuff is in our blog. So right. Hey, I, all the dates and all the info for all of these events and uh, uh, yeah. 
I'll, 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 everything we covered today, I'll make sure it's on our stores with some sort of link or something for you guys to get to. Make it, make it easy. I know we covered a lot of information in a short yeah. amount of time. Yep. My head's still spinning too. So we'll get that out on the story. So this is exciting. This is our, somebody's going to win this truck right now. Yeah. You want to, I'll hold it up and you want to read. No, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. So this was built by our own, uh, team member, Ellie. And I gotta say, this is, was this the first build she did? This is the very first build she's ever done. So this is really amazing. I'm, I, you know, blown away myself being a builder. She did a really excellent job. This is a, a factory painted mm -hmm. blazer body, our K5 blazer body. Um, she picked the color scheme. She picked the, the theme that she wanted to go with. And, and uh, it's called it's, the, Go ahead. Coastal City Cruiser. Yep. So we'll go over it real quick. It's got a lowered suspension. It looks like she's got uh, axle over the leafs on there. Uh, we've got, oh man, open up the hood. Check that out. A very, engine bay with the, the 110 scale V8 engine. Looks like we've got some a Holly. Oh yeah, kit she's on got there. it all dressed up. The radiator, the plug wires, uh, the water pump. Well, and, and that's, that's what's great about it. This was her first build and she you know, figured out how to yeah. rotate the servo and put the uh, <laughs> yeah, radiator right. in everything. I mean, she did a great job really, on this. The, the wiring, the, it's got a lighting kit in there. It looks yep. like uh, factory wiring. Inner fenders. I can go over the list here. It's crazy. Um, we got the Holly valve covers. It's custom painted exhaust headers on there. That's got the uh, RC four-wheel drive uh, headers. We've got the leaf under mounts for its, give it the lowered slammed look. Mm -hmm. We've got Bilstein chrome shocks on there. The Toro Blade 2.2 tires. Those are really Yeah, with the low, low profile. profile. They just, they look so cool. And then the F F41 Fuel 2.1 wheels on there. Yeah. Those are really ultra scale, eight lug wheel. Really amazing. If you look at the interior, it's kind of the powder gray, like the roof matching and the side panels. Here you go. R4 transmission, maybe show the underneath. It's got the scale transmission. Watch the... Uh, so this is like an ultra limited blazer. Oh yeah, this is a one, one off. She did such a great job on this. It's got a really, and if uh, you go to YouTube and see the full video. Yeah. Uh, the guys went to downtown Visalia. The team did some really, uh, really amazing video work with it and a cool theme. Yeah, we'll check that out on the YouTube. And I just, I love the stance. The stance. I mean, it's just she, she nailed the stance. <laughs> I mean, even with it being, you know, lower on the in the back. Squats kinda, a little. Yeah, it yeah. squats a little bit. But uh, so, anyways, we're gonna give this away today. Great. I want to say best of luck to everyone. Yeah. And so Abel's gonna come up here. So we got all the uh, participants here in the uh, frame just up here. Difficulty. So you can see it's uh, everybody's in there. That's why the wheel is a little laggy, but we are not missing out on anybody. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a spin to see who wins this custom build. Drum and this roll. is everyone who made a purchase. Who we got? Let's see. If it loads, Peter G. Congratulations, Peter G. You are the winner of these. All right. Does it say where Peter G's from? Yeah, he's from Danburg, uh, Danbury, uh, United States. Okay. Yeah. So we, we got we got the details. On Congratulations. Our right, right. Good job, right. Peter G. So man, you're you're going to be G. you're going to be set up there. All right. It's got really? the reverse. Uh, oh, reverse shackles, shackles too. too. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of details. The more you look, the more there is on this thing. Yeah, that is awesome. The paint's just phenomenal. Oh, it's yeah. Do we have a color for that or just? No, no. She picked that out. It was like ice or no, uh, I can't remember what the blue was, but it was it's really cool. Gray. Yeah, That's something, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Very, Very cool. Congratulations, Peter. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to talk about next, the next, next giveaway. Next giveaway. So this one here, we're calling Lakeside Mojave Trail Finder 2. And this was built by our. <clears throat> customer service team. So, you know, we're trying to get everybody involved in these giveaways and it's it's really fun to see somebody that maybe never built something 
go through the process and, and build um, a truck and how they go from the, the vision, you know, what they, what they want to build and then how it transforms into what they, they have. Right. So <clears throat> this one here starts with the um, Trail Finder 2 kit. It's got the deep dish wagon black wheels. Um, it's got Rock Stomper 155s on it. Oh, there you go. Um, full LED kit. It's got a truck bed mounted angle uh, spare tire holder plus a spare tire. Oh, watch. A matching spare tire and rim. Yep, Very yep. Nice. All the de uh, decals, graphic decals. It's got a power tank. It's got a Kohler. It's got a um, ARB fridge in there and some mats. Um, so it's uh, really ready to go out, go camping. Let's talk about that paint too. Well, the paint is, it's, it's a shade of almost like a pink purple, pink burgundy. Uh, I don't know if the pictures do it, no, they don't do yeah, it justice. Really, it's yeah, it's really amazing. Yeah, it, it looks more red there, but what a, it's a really cool color. Um, and with the combination of that and almost like the army gray uh, bed and interior, um, it it's really, it, it really sets it off nice. Yeah. So, really <coughs> nice. Full, full interior as well inside of here. It's got the seat, the floorboard, um, the dash with the metal inserts as well. Uh, really, really cool. Got right, the little power, power tank. tank. You've seen, and then we've got to uh, pull these out a couple little sleeping bed, sleeping bag mats. The, the uh, what, what was the battery that? Remember the battery you put in these, the big square. The nine thing? volt, or no? Uh, what was that battery called? The big square one. Who, yeah. who, who on? Uh, who on? <coughs> What's the big battery called? The big square one. Uh, we've got a little RC four wheel drive ice chest, and then the ARB cooler, which is really yep. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. The paint's really, yeah, really sets it They're not it off. really nice. It's got a nice stance too with the deep dish wheels. So, so this will be our next, <clears throat> next giveaway. Yep. So what's the, what's the rule on this one? How is this one same same deal and timeline? Make a purchase. Yeah. Make a purchase between now and. It's in July. I don't have the exact date. We'll post up the exact it'll date. It'll yeah, it'll be on the blog. But the rules are the same. Enter the, uh, the drawing that we put up on the blog or buy something. Buy something. Yeah. So whether you buy a lanyard or a ready to run, you're automatically entered. Yep. So yep. fun items too. We have a lot of great shirts and hats and stuff that are uh, easy ways to get entered. Yep. What Is, else? Anything else? No, I think we're good. Is there any uh, questions or anything that we can... Uh, we yeah, can... STP Ridgeline's asking when we're getting an event in California. We'll be at Toyota Fest coming up in June 8th. That's kind of an RC event. RC Four Wheel Drive will be uh, attending the, I don't know how many, this, they said annual Toyota Fest that's going on in Long Beach off of Ocean Boulevard. We'll be there all day on June 8th. RC Four Wheel Drive, we're going to have a giant booth uh, with some real one-to-one -one trucks and scale trucks as well. So if, you want, if you're there or you're in the area, um, stop in and say stop hi. Stop in and say hi. We'll have a, I think we're going to have a scale course going on, uh, demo trucks as well. So that's going to be our next California event. So we'll be there all day. So this is uh, Saturday, June 8th. Am I correct? So I'm not sure. come in and check it out. should be really exciting. Um, uh, one more question we got. How does one build a truck for RC four-wheel drive to give away? Oh, yeah. who's that? That is uh, Size Matters RC. Hey, Size Matters. Hey, guys. Yep. Well, I don't know. That's something to think about. Uh, send a send an email into our support support at rc4wd.com, and we can see if it's something that we can uh, coordinate. And then uh, one more person asking too: How do you get in the giveaway? Yeah, it's just real simple. Make a purchase or follow the instructions that will be laid out in the blog today. It will it will consist of a drawing. You'll have to draw something for us and mail it in. As in a picture, draw. Picture. So if we've had draw a snowman was one, I snowman. think. We had the narwhal. narwhal. 
we'll, we'll have something up here. So that's that's more of the just have some fun and <laughs> let. That's, that's the no purchase necessary. Yeah, that's the no purchase nece necessary, and it gives uh, the marketing guy something to have fun with. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if there isn't any other questions, then just to add to that as well, uh, besides the drawing, you obviously buy something, but. Please, please, please be a registered user. You have to be a registered user to be oh, yeah. for the giveaway. There you go. You make, uh, make an order and be registered. Well, okay. you're going to use our promo codes to also create an RC four wheel drive account. That's correct. And sign up for the newsletter. And sign up for the newsletter. Uh, and again, all right. I want to thank all our partners too. We've named a lot of new products with some of our uh, existing partners, and we added recently added Moto Metals, and we're really thankful. For all our partners in the names Definitely. as well, so they GM, they help us. Yeah, they help us do that. So, so the fuel. If there isn't any other questions or anything, um, everybody have a great week, and uh, see you on the trails. See you on the trails.